Hi. Good morning, friends. It's Miss Martin. I'm going to show you how I like to spend my Saturday mornings here at home. I have one of my favorite books. I have a little nice something warm. Miss Martin likes coffee. That's my favorite Saturday morning drink. So I've got that. And I'm going to introduce you to one of my my friend Tonka. Come here, Buds. Come on. He is a pet. We learned that word. Tonka likes to cuddle on Saturday mornings. So I'm going to read him my book. We're going to spend some time together doing things we like to do. He has a little uh, strawberry toy here he might chew on while he listens or a bone, but we're just cozy hanging out together. Do you have a pet? It's okay if it's not a Tonka, but maybe you have a cat, or maybe you have a little brother or sister. Someone you can read to on a Saturday morning? Try it out. Let me know what you think. Today's story is, is your mama a llama? I love llamas, and Tonka does too. So we're going to read this one today. If you have this book at home, is Your Mama a Llama, written by Deborah Guarino, illustrated by Stephen Kellogg. He's one of my favorite illustrators. If you have this book at home, you can read it along with me. Just turn the pages when I turn mine. Is your mama a llama? No, his mama is a human. But we like a good story anyway. Look at this picture, guys. You can see that. Can you see Stephen Kellogg's beautiful artwork? There's lots of it in this book. <clears throat> is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Dave. No, she is not, is the answer Dave gave. Why? She hangs by her feet and she lives in a cave. I do not believe that's how llamas behave. Oh, I said, you're right about that. I think that your mama sounds more like a... Turn the page. Bat! Did you guess bat? Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Fred. No, she is not, is what Freddy said. What do you think it's going to be? She has a long neck and white feathers and wings. I don't think a llama has all of those things. Oh, I said, you don't need to go on. I think that your mama must be a... <gasps> Use Stephen Kellogg's artwork as a clue. What do you think it's gonna be? Oh, I said, you don't need to go on. I think that your mama must be a... <gasps> what do you think? Say it if you know it. Swan! Did you guess Swan? Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Jane. No, she is not, Jane politely explained. Okay, I'm going to get very close. I want you to use this next picture as a clue. Look at this one. Look at Jane, who's our new character. What do you think Jane's mom is going to be? I'm going to read it again. Think about it. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Jane. No, she is not, Jane politely explained. One more time. What do you think Jane's mom is going to be?
She grazes on grass. She likes to say moo. I don't think that's what a llama would do. Oh, I understand now. I think that your mama must be a... What do you think? What's Jane's mama? Cow! Did you guess cow? Tonka, did you guess cow? You were right, you were right. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Clyde. No, she is not, is how Clyde replied. Tonka, what's Clyde? What's Clyde, did you see? Look, look, there's Clyde. What do you think Clyde's mom's gonna be? Class, help him. What do you think Clyde's mama's gonna be? Use the illustration. Think, think, think. I'm gonna read it one more time. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend. Clyde? No, she is not, how Clyde replied. She's got flippers and whiskers and eats fish all day. I do not think llamas act quite in that way. Oh, I said, I'm beginning to feel that your mama must really be a what is it tonk tonka what do you think clyde's mama is gonna be i'm gonna read it one more time listen if you can see if there's another clue she's got flippers and whiskers and eats fish all day i do not think llamas act quite in that way Oh, I said, I'm beginning to feel that your mama must really be a seal. You were right, guys. Good job. <clears throat> Is your mama a llama? I said, my, I asked my friend Rhonda. No, she is not, is how Rhonda responded. Oh, see if you can find Rhonda. We have to use our picture to help us. Do you see Rhonda? Let's see. Do you see Rhonda? Look at Rhonda. Look. Oh, Tonka's wagging his tail. He wants to find Rhonda. Ready? She's got big hind legs and a pocket for me. So I don't think a llama is what she could be. Oh, I said, that is certainly true. I think that you are mama's a... Beautiful picture. I'll read it one more time. Ask your brain. What is Rhonda's mama going to be? She's got big hind legs and a pocket for me, so I don't think a llama is what she could be. Oh, I said, that is certainly true. I think that your mama's a kangaroo. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Lynn. Oh, what clues does this one give us? What clues? This one. Tonka knows about these. This might be Tonka's favorite part of the story. Let's see. Tonka, what's this? What's this, Tonka? Is it your favorite? Listen, listen. He's getting excited, guys. Oh, Lord, don't be silly, Lynn said with a grin. My mama has big ears long lashes, and fur, and you of all people should know about her. Our mamas belong to the same herd, and you know all about llamas, cause you are one too. 
Yes, you are right, I said to my friend. My mama's a llama. And this is my favorite book. The end. The end. Tonka laid down too. Hey guys. Stick around for more.